Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Today, I'm going to be reacting to 10 surprising facts about Lebanon. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. In today's video, we'll be looking deeper into 10 surprising facts about the historical and diverse country of Lebanon. Welcome back to FTD Facts. I'm Sarah Carvalho and today I'm excited to bring you an informative video about Lebanon. For those of you who don't know, Lebanon is a small yet mighty country that is amongst the world's most historical nations. It's a country made up of quite a diverse group of people, a wide range of celebrated faiths, and has seen many changes over its long lifespan. Today's video will uncover 10 surprising facts about Lebanon. Some of these facts may already be well known to you, but hopefully some of them will leave you just as intrigued as I was. Let's get into it. So fact number 10, Lebanon was once known as the Switzerland of the East. Why, you may ask? Well, during the 1950s and 1960s, Lebanon got this title because of its financial soundness and diversity. It actually had a lot of financial power and stability in the world at this time. It's unfortunately seen some tough times since then, but it did hold the title at one point in history. Did you know that the second smallest country in the Middle East is Lebanon? And it's actually only 10,452 square kilometers, which is about the size of the state of Connecticut in the United States, just to put that into perspective for some of you. So Lebanon could actually fit into the Middle East's biggest state, Saudi Arabia, some 206 times. It is recognized as the smallest country on all of the entire mainland Asian continent. Fact number eight. Lebanon loves any reason to make a day a holiday for its citizens. In other words, there are lots of bank holidays. It is said that Lebanon is the world's third most easygoing nation when it comes to public holidays. To be a little bit more specific, the government allows people to take 16 days a year out of the office. That's second to India and Colombia who take 18 days a year. Anyone else ready to move? Sign me up. I love a good day off. Our next fact is perfect for you avid travelers. Lebanon has the greatest fragment of ancient Rome outside of Rome. Now this may be hard to believe for all of you history buffs out there, but there's actually something quite unique about the modern town of Baalbek in Lebanon. It is interesting to note that this town is practically synonymous with the Roman structure at its heart, especially the colossal temple of Bacchus, a second century AD marvel which would bear comparison to the Parthenon in Athens were it A, not a legacy of an entirely different ancient civilization, and B, in a rather better condition. Unfortunately, Lebanon has seen some struggles in its day and through much civil unrest and war, their historical sites have not remained in the best condition for people to visit. The problem not only stems from the trouble within the country, but the surrounding country's unrest, which has caused tourism to drop in the last few years, making it less of a priority to maintain these sites. Not to mention many natural disasters such as earthquakes, which are known to be common in the region. I've been fortunate enough to visit Lebanon. It was a truly memorable experience, and if you're ever in the area, you should definitely check it out. Fact number six, Lebanon recognizes 18 religious communities within their country. Lebanon is made up of a very diverse population. The country is home to over 6 million people and hosts up to 1.7 million refugees from other countries, which in fact contributes to the variety of religious communities that can be found within the country. Now, I don't know about you, but this is a truly beautiful fact to recognize honoring that one place can be home for so many people of different faiths. Although it has contributed to much unrest over the years and so many different political and religious opinions come into play. If you are a wine lover, you will love this next fact. Lebanon has an impeccable wine scene. The road to Baalbek is a famous drive through the center of Lebanon that is framed in some parts by vineyards. So interestingly, wine has been produced here for some 
six millennia. It is said that the wine influences come from the Romans, who were aware that the Becca Valley, which runs up the center of Lebanon, was the perfect spot for viticulture to flourish. Lebanon's wine scene is still going strong to this day. Who are my wine lovers out there? Have you ever tried the Lebanese wine? I have to say that I quite enjoyed the experience of quite a few wine tastings in Lebanon and was truly surprised by the diverse flavors in the different types of wines. Our next fact, according to the World Health Organization, Lebanon makes up a portion of the planet with the third biggest appetite for smoking. It is a pretty well known fact that Middle Easterners love their tobacco products. This makes it a place that often has a thick hue of smoke over the streets. Lebanon is third to Montenegro and Belarus as a nation to light up this often. All right, I was pretty shocked to hear about this next fact, but in Lebanon, there has been no census undertaken since 1932 due to political sensitivity over religious affiliation. In fact, the 1932 census played a fundamental role in the state building process of the Lebanese state. Political representation was based on its findings. It was the basis for personal registration of the population residing on Lebanese territories. And lastly, it formed one of the cornerstones for obtaining citizenship in the Lebanese state. However, due to Lebanon's diverse makeup of citizens and religions, another official census has not been done in fear of causing political unrest. All right, you might be surprised to know that Lebanon is the only country in the Middle East that doesn't have a desert. Now I know when you think of the Middle East, it is likely to imagine a desert, something like that comes to mind. However, while most of Lebanon's neighbors have vast landscapes of sand dunes stretching far and wide across their nations, this is not the case for Lebanon. In fact, much of the country's landscape has a variety of lush mountains and hills and even trees. It's absolutely beautiful. All right guys, bringing us down to fact number one. Lebanon's capital city, Beirut, is the largest city in Lebanon and is in fact one of the oldest cities in the world. Beirut has been inhabited for more than 5,000 years. Shockingly, the capital city has been destroyed and rebuilt seven times throughout history. That speaks wonders to the determination, resilience, and love of its people. All right, friends, that's it for today's 10 surprising facts about Lebanon. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you learned something new, Feel free to drop us a note down below in the comments section. We want to hear your thoughts on our video about Lebanon. And if there's something we missed because we could only talk about 10 things for this video, please feel free to share so that we can learn even more about this fascinating country and possibly include your suggestions in a future video. As always, don't forget to show us your love, like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you enjoyed today's video, you've got to check out our video on the state of Kuwait where I I lived for the last five years. I'll post the link for you below in the description box. Go check it out. All right, that's it for now, friends. I will see you next time right here on FTD Facts. I really love and enjoy the videos FTD facts channel posts. They're very, very interesting. I mean, and it must take some time to actually compile these together and actually put a video out there. Otherwise, they're interested. Um, I mean, these facts, these are very, very surprising facts to me. Very, very new to me and interesting. I love to learn about new things. I love learning about new countries. I just love anything to do with learning and the thing about the middle east i'm going to make it a general statement because i can't name one particular country but i've realized that or at least i've seen through uh people that i watch on youtube or something that they have some really really nice foods i would really really love to visit the middle east just for that for food and of course to check out the odd um monuments and all that because i'm for i'm all for history and uh figuring seeing for myself what was there back then and how it is now 
and yeah so that's that let me know what you guys actually think about this if you have something to say leave your comment down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video